proud to be sponsored by Diamond Bright, the car care products that have been keeping the furious fleet looking their best for a long time already. To find all you need to keep your car clean and protected, follow the link below to diamondbright.co.uk. Slightly cliched, perfect start to the day. Donut, coffee in the car, and a cop car. Hello, welcome to Furious Driving, and today we are at American Speed Fest with the American Car Group. Brought the Crown Victoria down, there's lots to see here, immense number of American cars and stuff happening on the track, just not right now. But let's start looking around the show with some of the American cop cars we've driven down here. First of all, we did come down from Blue Water in Convoy, which was absolutely amazing. Let's have a quick look at that first of all. So here we have, first of all, a nice black and white. I'm going to guess this is a post-2004 car, judging by the wheels. Essential accessory on the dashboard. The large lamp. Whose car is the car? Moving around to an uh, earlier an Aero LA, maybe? California Patrol. And the same black and white design, but this one is an Impala. Notice it's got the uh, A-post lamps on it, Appleton's. The interior police spec equipment and the lights on the tailgate now moving up market we have this massive chevy tahoe police package car got the satina bodyguard bull bar on the front got the concealed lights in there absolute monster of a vehicle another crown vic this is something I wanted to do to my car until I thought about taking a drill to the A-post. It didn't come with it from new, so hey, let's leave that. Go Rhino Bar, always a popular option on the Crown Vicks. Really suit the car very well. Texas Department of Public Safety, this one. And like mine, we've got the rubber floors, tweed front seats, vinyl back seat, but we've got the full center console with the cup holders and the lights and siren switches all there in the middle. Another Crown Vic. Crown Vic is very popular in this group. This one is Las Vegas Metropolitan Police with a different light bar on the roof. These are the single light bars in most counties and states. These ones have got the multiple little chevron things, which is rather cool actually. A different variation again on the nudge bar. And this is interesting. This is an Aero pre-98. Very cool car. Lovely color as well if there should be like a subsection of this club for cars in weird metallic shades, which I can join with this car. Now we've got a Charger, a bigger Go Rhino bar on this one, full wraparound for the Charger. 
again we've got the a post light for the driver this one has got the rear cage the side mounted lights single clear bar on top charges are very 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 cool police cars Gulfport police are. now we've got more, more Crown Vicks, and the, the Vicks are very much the bulk of the thing. This is a 2011, I think it's a July 2011, so a very, very late car indeed. Loaded with the lights, all the equipment. Let's go around the other side and have a quick look at his computer. So this has got the full everything, as well as all the uh, top of the windscreen light equipment the a post lights and then we've got the computer mounted in the center the smart siren controls the cb and he's missing his cup holders frankly this has got the bulkhead in the middle so the, the prison the guard area all good and this has got the very 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 late hubcaps as well moving on to a car we know oh so well my aspen green metallic ohio police car We know this one very well indeed. This is basically as it left the factory with the black grille, the big hubcaps. That's how it was. It never had the outside lights, it never had the um, nudge bar. It may have had hidden lights, which I would like to reinstate actually. This car is an interesting one, which is actually the first Crown Vic I drove. This is a Gulf Coast export car, so it's a P71 chassis and cooling system, like kind of operated stuff, but built for luxury. So it's got comfy seats, comfy bench in the front, comfy bench in the rear, and wooden bits in the dashboard. So quite an unusual spec. Now, moving around, another Chevy, another Impala, NYPD traffic, so like L NVPD, LAP, or an NYPD, have got the multi-section light guard thing. Got the Appleton Light, New York State stamp on the window. LA, NYPD graphics do look so very good, and this has got all the equipment here in the center, but because of the narrowness of the center console area, it's all attached to the dashboard rather than between the seats. This has got the prison, the guard, and all that other good stuff. Lights hidden on the rear. Now this one, another charger. <laughs> Central City. This has got all the equipment though. It's got the, the prison, the bars, it's got the prison, the guard, the solid back seat, so you can do as disgusting as you want on the back seat. It just wipes straight out. Got a full on tough book laptop. The big Satino bar. And this one's even got the big Panasonic dash cam, police spec dash cam. Very cool indeed. Another Crown Vic. This one is Los Santos. Much of the similar equipment as before. We've got the, the full width rear lights on this one though. And last of all, no, not quite last of all, almost last of all, we have got a different set of rear lights on the back of this one. For the red and blues like going on. Prison the guards, vinyl back seat, bulkhead, tough book. Everything's in here. Full equipment and spec on this one, which is from Florida, Indian Shores. And last but not least, apart from that one over there, NYPD Crown Vic. This one looks like a pre-2003 one, like mine. <laughs> There's been an incident. We've got the BMW bike, which is not American, obviously. I just stepped over the corpse. Oops. <laughs> Shotgun shells and an AK. Another Panasonic tough book. I'm going to have to get one of those, aren't I? We even have the LAPD here in attendance. <laughs> we do, we do, with an NYPD hat. <laughs> yeah, well, I was going to draw attention to that. <laughs> just keeping the sunburn on. I've also got the New York taxi as well. MY56 cab. These top boxes are very sought after over here. So this is very similar spec to the police car. The tweed front seats, the rubber floor, basic dashboard but it's got a fabric back seat, so it's a little bit more comfortable. I think some taxis did come with the vinyl back seat as well. NYC taxi, love it. Very popular conversion. Of course, there is also the mega stealth one. NYPD did use police cars disguised as taxis, so you've got the red and blue lights behind the grill and the windscreen. Great for surveillance, because they're everywhere. And last police car here, we have got a Camaro. I don't know if this is a genuine, because some of these things were actually used as like confiscated things where they would take proceeds of drugs 
and repurposed them. So this may actually have been a real car that was uh, taken from a drug dealer. Elon Howler, which is a... <laughs> That's on the loud side. Some muscle cars. We've got ourselves a Plymouth Duster 340. Check out the vinyl. Black hood. Very cool. Obviously we've got a few Mustangs going on. I'm pretty sure it's not a Mustang, but hey. We can pretend. Nice bit of trans damage. I love the T-tops. Interior. It's caramel at its finest and the turned metal dashboard. Such a thing of its era. Got the 6.6 .6 screaming eagle. Oh, screaming chicken, frankly. Nice little Ford. Oh, that's cool. Mustang straight six. But don't forget, most Mustangs were straight six. The V8s were not the big sellers. A little more modern stuff. We're into Dodge City here. Oh, we've got ourselves in a, a Hellcat, and uh, someone's cat likes sitting on it. These are very cool cars. Oh, double Thunderbird action. See the progression over the years. The original. Very, very pretty indeed. The fins. Oh, that lovely red bench seat. That's very pretty. That's a Corvette like dashboard top there. Little opera window porthole. So cute. And moving on a few years. Everything has grown, even the Thunderbird logo. And look how little space there is in the car. The bonnet starts over there, the boot ends over there, and you've just got a little spot in the middle, which is very, very cool looking indeed. Ah, so much going on. Another Plymouth. Check out the external tack. That's a fuel pressure gauge, sorry, not a tachometer. A lot of this thing. A Mustangs, a later Trans Am, a few pickups. A Cherokee, wouldn't mind a Cherokee. Oh, slam, matte black. These are all very cool indeed, but check this DeSoto out. I love these things. Grab on eBay still if you want those. Five door, tweed, vinyl interior, a proper family wagon from the 50s. It's a power master. That is beautiful. Don't think I've ever seen one of these before. A lot of their grills for hot rods and custom cars over the years because they're incredibly cool. So it's quite fitting that this thing is sat next to this Zephyr, probably. That's become an amazing chopped, channeled, lowered, leaded, you name it, it's been done. Proper, proper, very cool hot rod. Which is on air. You can see all the equipment not yet boxed in and hidden. Custom bench. Custom dash? No, I don't think it's custom dash. Might be. This is incredibly cool. Little Mustangs. Looking back past the Crown Victorias over there. Oh, I shouldn't be excited by a C3 Corvette, sorry, C4 Corvette, but I really would quite like one of these, even though people regard them as the worst Corvette. I don't think they are, I think they're really pretty. Oh, hello, another Crown Victoria. Oh, it's a Mercury Grand Marquis, my bad. 
You can tell it's a grand marquee by the fact it says grand marquee in it. And you've got the uh, key code and the velour. Oh, hello. Got a Torino over here. Depends on the event. Yeah, lots of fun stuff. Oh, people more hot roddy things going on. Uh, killer B. It's a Chevy V8? No, a Rover V8. <laughs> With the uh, Edelbrock covers and everything else in there. Nice bit of pinstropping going on. Mustang with a very, very, very nice V8 in it. We've got a cut out in the bonnet for the air cleaner. And, what else have we got here? A 1944 pickup with a flat head in it. Traditional. Four. So I just managed to spend four pounds on a 99. The price is in the name, or at least it should be. Once upon a time it was. That's inflation for you when you come to an event. Come up here though to see the monster trucks. When you go to the monster trucks and they're rolling over cars I was looking at an auto trader last night. Specifically that Volvo.
And during the pandemic, when everyone was like, oh, let's get a camper van, my wife was quite into the idea of getting a camper van. I think she still is. I think it's what she was imagining was something the size of a Winnebago that looked like a Volkswagen Type 1 camper. What I immediately thought of when she said, let's get a camper van, was something like a Chevy Astro, which looks like you're offering sweets to children outside of school. But it's enormously, well, 80s in the best and worst possible ways. Those wheels are hideous, but I love them. Yeah, that, that's what a camper van looks like to me. <laughs> a chewy to face man with down into the Corvettes and a plethora of C4s as I said earlier my favourite Corvette oh a manual there is a lot of music going on around here so it's quite hard to find places where I can actually talk without being copyrighted. Now this is kind of cool. Eagle Autos, knowing to have their signature orange and black trucks here, they've got their tot rod drop tanks. Very, very, very cool indeed. These do actually drive, run and drive. This one I think has a lawnmower engine in it from memory. We'll be in Custom Car Magazine very soon. The are going to be absolutely massive. Now granted this is not diminutive, but it's not quite as massive as you might imagine. I mean there's a vast, vast space between the two seats inside. It's only a four-seater with like the size of a mini metro in between them. But yeah, if you're going to have a Hummer, that's basically the spec you've got to have. I am general. And you've got to talk in the regular car reviews voice all the time you drive it.